these are the last tears of mine, my Lord, that the sun will ever see. This is another quote from a Spartan woman. I want to tell you a story here. This is a story, a fictional story, but it's true to life of, of the Spartans. It comes from my book, Gates of Fire. And uh, when I had written Gates of Fire, it was on its way to being published. And I had two female editors, Kate Misiak and Nita Taublib. And they called me into their office and they said, we need something more. This book is not ready to go. We need another story about the Spartan women. Everybody that reads this book, this manuscript, they love the Spartan women. Can you give us something more? And so I immediately rejected that. I said, no, 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 I'm, I can't do it. You know. But a week later, I did finally sit down and I did write a scene and gave him a scene. And it turned out that that scene is the one in the 25 years since Gates of Fire came out that I get more mail about. And it's, it's the one scene that everybody remembers from the book. And I want to go into a little bit of detail about it here because I think it's truly um, emblematic of what a Spartan woman was like, what a woman in a warrior culture, in that supreme warrior culture was about. Now, Gates of Fire is about the Battle of Thermopylae. It's, a, it's the battle that, uh, where the 300 Spartans defended the pass at Thermopylae against supposedly two million Persians, and they all died to the last man, including their king, Leonidas and they knew they were going to die from the start. So in the story, in the true story, King Leonidas has to pick 300 of these warriors. 300 was a sacred number in ancient Greece. And everybody has always wondered since then, why did he pick these particular 300? So in the story of Gates of Fire, I have one female character named Paralia, and she Leonidas picked two men connected to her, her son and her husband. And so in the story, she goes to Leonidas in distress and says, why have you singled me out for, these, for this double portion of grief? And Leonidas tells her, he says, I'm going to tell you why I picked these 300. He says, I've never told anyone else, and I'm never going to tell the 300 themselves. And people wonder, was it that they were a picked unit? He says, absolutely not. They've never fought together. He said, did I pick them because they were the 300 bravest or the 300 best warriors? He said, absolutely not. I picked, like your son has never even been in combat. I, I picked him for this, for this outfit. So people ask me why I picked them. And why I picked them was for their women, for their wives and their mothers and their sisters. I picked them for the courage of their women. And I'm going to explain to you why. He says, this defense of the pass at Thermopylae, which I'm going to too, this is Leonidas talking, is a suicide mission. It's a delaying action. We know that we're all going to die. That's why all of these men are fathers of living sons. So the next question is, it's really that how is Greece ever going to defend itself against these Persian hordes? And the answer is, it'll not be in this battle at Thermopylae. It'll be in subsequent battles when the other cities of Greece can rally and get their act together and really resist. So our cause, ours of the 300, is a lost cause. We're going there to die. I'm going there to die. The question is, what will happen to our women when the word comes that we have all died? In Sparta, the city of Sparta will look to those 300 women, to those wives and mothers and, and sisters and children, daughters, and if they fall apart, the city of Sparta will fall apart. And if Sparta falls apart, the rest of Greece will fall apart. But if those women can hold themselves together, dry-eyed, and take their grief and just choke it down, then Sparta will stand. And if Sparta stands, then all of Greece will stand. So that, King Leonidas says to the Lady Paralia, is why I chose you for this double portion of grief because you can take it. You must not be just mother to your son and husband and wife to your husband, but mother to all Greece and husband and wife to all Greece. And at this point in the story, Paralia breaks down and weeps, but she gets it together. She gets her tears under control, her emotions under control. And she says to him, these will be the last tears of mine, my Lord that the sun will ever see. 
So this, even though it's a fictional story, I think is absolutely true to the nature of Spartan women and of the women in a warrior culture, that they were the real backbone. They, were the, they are the strength of the culture. In one sense, it's almost easy for a man to go out and give his all and to die. But for the woman and the daughters, the wives, to live with that grief and to, and to hold it together, that's the real courage. So this is just one other point about women in a warrior culture and how they are really the spine and the glue, the mortar that holds the whole culture together.